G'day guys, um, well it's a few hours later and time for dinner. I would have loved to have um, those yabbies out at the old dam where we were before but as I said in the previously it was getting a bit too dark. But anyway, I'm back home and um, changed my plans. I'm going to have a nice grilled fish tonight for dinner or as we say in Australia for tea and um, some homemade chips and on the side we'll have those yabbies on the side with that beautiful homemade seafood sauce so I'll chuck the fish in the pan and let's start cooking I'll just sprinkle a little bit of sea salt on the top of the fish Give it a bit of extra flavour. And a touch of lemon. The homegrown lemon off my lemon tree. Alright, that fish is cooking absolutely beautifully, so we'll turn it over. Beautiful, look at that. Nice Australian fish. So the fish I'm cooking at the moment is a nice Australian caught ocean salmon. I've had this fish quite a few times before. It's absolutely beautiful. I'd get it from my local butcher, Wajin Butchers, about 40 kilometres um, west of Dumbuyang. So as you can see that fish is cooking absolutely superbly. So I'll just chuck a bit more sea salt on this side for the flavour. Another squeeze of homegrown lemon. And that should be ready in a couple of minutes. Well, the fish is ready fellas, so it looks absolutely delicious, so here it comes, absolutely beautiful. So as you can see there, see the yabbies, they are quite small, um, probably in about another two months, they'll be probably about twice the size, possibly three times the size, got the beautiful homemade seafood sauce there, a few lemons, to go on top of that fish and the yabbies and my beautiful homegrown, <laughs> homegrown garnish a bit of rosemary and I'll just sprinkle a little bit of lemon on that to give it a nice flavour and just sprinkle a little bit of sea salt on top of that and to top it off season the homemade chips with a sprinkle of sea salt there you are, absolutely beautiful. And this meal is definitely going to go down well tonight. So what I've got here fellas is in this little bowl is some vinegar. So the yabbies taste absolutely beautiful um, with vinegar and, and plenty of uh, salt. Mmm, yum. And as I was just thinking before, the bloody things we do just to make a 10 minute bloody YouTube video. Anyway, it's been well worth it, fellas. I'm really looking forward to this. I've hardly eaten anything all day today, so I'm absolutely famished. Well, fellas, it's about 10 minutes later. I've just um, finished my meal for the night, what I cooked. The beautiful yabbies, ocean salmon, and the um, homemade chips. Anyway, the dogs are looking at me um, with anxiety, and I can hear their stomach pains. So as you can see here, they've got a freshly roll of primed cut up beef, cut up into beautiful cubes, dashed with a uh, slice of lemon, a garnish of rosemary, some pasta on Topped top, off with the heads of the cooked yabbies, the claws, the guts, and all the other bits and pieces. Absolutely beautiful. They're going to love me tonight.
Yeah, I really appreciate you watching and um, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful evening. I wish I could stay out here, but unfortunately, one day, one day guys, I'll get the time to start to hit the road and go travelling, metal detecting around Australia, take my dogs with me. But at the moment, I've just sold my business, so I'm still in the process of, um, you know, finishing off that and wrapping up that situation. But yeah, hopefully within the next few months I'll, you know, be a lot more free to go travelling further on and go metal detecting at other places, not around this district, but other areas. Anyway guys, I really appreciate you watching. It's been a, a great night. Um, going to be a beautiful, nice, warm night tonight, I think. So don't forget to uh, subscribe, like, feel free to comment, uh, share, I really appreciate it. And yeah, have a beautiful night. I certainly will. Look at this, it's beautiful. Hey, what guys, it's great being bloody Australian. I couldn't ask for a better country to be born in.